Hey, thanks for checking out my latest video. Today's topic is getting louder. And it's not about turning up the amps, it's about what you're doing on the keyboard. This video is the first in what I think will be a series of videos devoted to how you, the keyboard player, can give a little bit more presence, a little more punch to what you're playing. We're gonna go over a very simple trick today that has to do with intervals, one of my favorite topics. Thanks so much for watching. Let's dive right in. Okay, we're talking about power chords as much as anything else here. And we'll start by a quick review of what that is. So here's a power chord. That's a D power chord. We've got the root and the fifth, and we've got the root in the octave. It's a big sound. The problem is we don't have the agility. If we keep this uh, con configuration, it's just going to be a little harder. It's not impossible, but I think I've got a better alternative, and that is to play that power chord. You're only going to play the root and the fifth. And you're doing that with one, three, two, four, three, five. You might say, well, that's kind of restrictive. We've got only three chords if we're in the key of D. And I would say, yeah, it's restrictive. So let's add one more right here. And here's how we're getting that. And by the way, that's going to be a C power chord. That's the flatted seven of D. And you can see my two is right there on that C anyway. It's ready to play this, so why not just take the thumb and move it down to the G, and now you've got the C power chord. So now we've got four chords to use, and we've also got the advantage of, of doing faster rhythmic features uh, that we come up with. Now, if you want to extend those four chords, then you can come up here, and you've got one three on the E and the A, two and fours on the G and the C, and then you've got three and five up on that A, D. And you could certainly practice being able to go from here to here as you come up. So there's seven chords, not bad. Okay, what if we're in other keys? Well, still very simple. If we're in C, there's your C power chord. There's your E flat power chord. Remember, we're... Those are the minor pentatonic notes we're playing. So there's the E-flat power chord, and there's the F power chord. We're saying F because that's the fifth of F. Here's F. That's the fifth, but we're playing it down here. If we're in E, real simple, all white notes. There's that extra chord. If we're in E flat, Okay, let's say we're in the key of G. Okay, let's say we're in the key of E.
Okay, let's say we're in the key of B flat. Okay, let's say we're in the key of A. Let's say we're in the key of F. Hey, thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. I hope you got something out of this. If you have questions, please leave those in the comments below. I do get back to people. This topic about intervals being played with one, three, two, four, three, five has been covered in some of my other videos, and you betcha, I'm gonna probably talk more about it. It's very near and dear to me. I love this technique. There's a lot you can do with it. Uh, in the meanwhile, if you like this video, please consider subscribing, hit the like button, uh, hit the little ringer thing that uh, reminds you when we have a new video coming out. And uh, thanks again. Appreciate it.